model. That's what he means. Because the second law, natural law, of thermodynamics definitely does apply to the Earth. It just doesn't apply to his model because his model violates that law. That model is the globe Earth model because it has gas pressure not dispersing into available volume as dictated by natural law. So it doesn't apply to his model only. It's a bit like the geometric horizon only applicable in the geometric globe Earth model. Well, the sky vacuum not obeying the second law of thermodynamics and the gas that we breathe not filling the space, that's only applicable in a model of a globe. Because in reality, gas follows natural law and always will. It's natural law. If you're going to use natural law, this is what we know. Now, if you're going to do a model, then you can, I guess, get rid of natural law, and then you're in fairy tale land. Any evidence of Earth radius, the R value? <laughs> nope. That went bye bye. Yeah. The R value is a 2019 assumption that was justified as being reasonable. Now it's been debunked and demonstrated untenable by the Black Swan. You can no longer arbitrarily justify the use of this presuppositional value called the R value, Earth radius. Because, according to your measurements, you would have an R value that's the circumference of Earth in place of the orbital path of the Moon in your model, based on the calculations utilised to give you a physical geometric Earth curve edge formerly known as the geometric horizon. Also called, when utilising mathematics of geometry, called earth curve so that earth curve was the presupposition of the r value giving you a geometric horizon which you don't have it's been debunked by the black swan collapsing in upon itself all of the assertions of the heliocentric model which start and end live and die based on the presupposition of the r value and it's been debunked fundies black swan black swan I think, as it hasn't been given in the other housekeeping questions with the R value, I'll do a quick rendition of the black swan argument for those unfamiliar. If the Earth was a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, then every distance to horizon measurement must be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height in feet. The distance to horizon in the black swan image is orders of magnitude beyond that which is laid down by the geometric claim to be certitude of the geometric model. Therefore, the Earth is definitely not a sphere. If you were to take the black swan's horizon and calculate it out with their horizon dip measurement, you'd end up with a sphere that is the size of the orbital path of the moon. That's where your equator would be, where the current claim with the massive, massive distances and how far away they claim the moon is. That's how far. That's how. That's where your equator would be. That would be the edge of your sphere. Enormous, based on one photograph, showing beyond all certitude that the Earth is not a sphere. You don't have geometric horizons. The black swan is the whole point of the black swan analogy is to show that we don't have geometric horizons. And the defence to this from the fundies is you don't have geometric horizons. They're all refracted debunking any assertion that we can do geometric measurements with this position called the horizon, formerly a geometric sphere edge, based on the R value. It's all been debunked. It's totally untenable as a model. The R value is dead. 